Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today we're going to build a carpenter bee trap. Uh, this is one that we finished. Um, basically, you take a block of wood, you drill holes in it. We'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. You hang it up with a drawer underneath. The carpenter bees will go in the hole. They go down through a hole that we drill up from the bottom. They end up in the jar. They can't get out. It's really pretty simple. Uh, this is another one that we're working on with a different style top. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can build these and uh, the design that we like the best is using an old 4x4. Uh, a lot of people use uh, canning jars. I don't want to use my canning, use up my canning jars, so I generally use an old pickle jars or jelly jars or whatever I got. I just don't use my good canning jars. Um, but all you need is a good, uh, an old jar. I have seen people use plastic containers. I don't really recommend that. I like the glass better. It's more durable. Uh, and you need a piece of four by four. This is just part of an old uh, post we had from a deck we tore down some time back. And um, you can use a two by four, only uh, if you use a two by four, instead of drilling holes in on all four sides, like this one, uh, you just do the two long sides you don't do in the short sides. But that'll work just as well. Uh, but the build is basically the same thing. So what you start out with, um, take your uh, 4x4, and you need a piece of 4x4 that's at least 5 to 8 inches tall. No big deal. It, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go with 7 inches on this one. And uh, I'm going to cut that right there at 7 inches. If I can see my mark again. Right there. Now I know a lot of y'all don't have a saw like this. It doesn't matter. You can use a saw like this. It'll work just the same. You will need a drill if you drill bits. Uh, but a hand saw will work. If you've got a circular saw, that'll work as well. Uh, I'm using this because it's what I've got. Now what you do is you mark an X on the bottom of your your, your block you just uh, created. And uh, what that does, just going corner to corner. And I don't know if you can see that X or not, but that tells you where the center is at. Now you take a three quarter inch bit, and I've already got one here in my drill. You start right there, and you go down. <laughs> I think they said go about five inches. I think what I saw most people say. And I'm right there. That no, was four inches. I'm at a little over three and a half. So I'm going to go just a little bit further. Let's see the measure that again. Yeah, I'm at three and a half or a little bit more. I'm going to go four inches. And go a little bit further. <laughs> Should give me four inches. Like I said, it's a three-quarter inch hole. Four inches in. Now you change your drill bit to a half-inch bit. I got my half-inch bit here. <coughs> and what you want to do is from the bottom where you just drilled your hole here, you want to come up two inches. Okay, two inches. And get your center, which should be, if a 4x4, four four, it should be an inch and uh, three quarters, which is right there. Measure all four sides for an inch and three quarters and two inches from the bottom. Just go ahead and mark off four sides while you're at it. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just real close, fairly close, somewhat close, you good. Now what you want to do is you want to drill this. Now this hole went straight in, okay, straight in. These you want to go at a 45 degree angle. Now 45 degree angle is this angle here. 
So you want your bit to be at the same angle as this. That's a 45. And the best way to do that is put your bit right there and start your hole like that. That gets you started. Now you start running your drill and as you, you drill, but don't press in real hard, you bring your drill down. So that's what we're gonna do. Like that until you get to that 45 degree angle. And that's, that's pretty close. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's pretty close. And then you drill in until you hit the long hole that you've already drilled inside. If you saw the drill jump a little bit, that's when it hit the hole on the inside, the larger hole that we'd already drilled. You want to do that on all four sides. Two more. One more. Now get your holes drilled in the wood. Get some of that out of my way. All right. Now, the top can be done different ways. Uh, some I saw did it like that, where you just cut it at an angle. I kind of like the little pyramid shape better myself. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to do pyramid shapes. And uh, I'm just going to cut this over to a 45 angle. I'm going to bring that thing down until it's about there. And I'm going to use my uh, clamp here. Clamp me a piece of wood here. Well, if I can get it to work. All right, now do that so I can cut the same angle on all four sides. Okay, just be careful if you do this. So I'm coming down where I'm cutting a quarter off. All right, let's do this. That's what I cut off. Now I'm gonna turn my block a quarter of a turn. Push it back against the block that I clamped on. Do the same thing and do it four times total. One more. And now I got a nice little pyramid shape. And I personally like that look better. So that's what I'm going with. Now, we've got to attach our jar to the bottom, okay? You got to drill a half inch hole in your lid. That's probably the hardest part. Change my drill bit here. Put a uh, metal cutting bit in the drill. Now this is probably the hardest thing you'll have to do with this project is drilling a hole in that metal lid. Be real careful when you do this. Uh, if you're not careful, that thing can jerk and get away from you. Okay, there we go. Got some loose pieces there I wanna pull loose. Uh, but like I said, that's probably the hardest part about this whole project because drilling a hole in that lid sometimes can be difficult because you know the metal bits will tend to want to bite in and it'll spin and if you're not careful you can get hurt so be careful with that now the next thing you want to do is take your lid and nail it to the bottom so this half inch hole is centered over the three quarter inch hole in your wood okay now i got a pneumatic nailer here so i'm going to use that well I think I've just got too much pressure here. Let's try it again. There we go. Yeah, just a little too much pressure, but uh, just a couple nails to nail that in place. 
put your drawer on the bottom and there you go. Now there's different ways you can hang this. Um, there's eye hooks like this. Uh, there's staples that you can get like a fencing staple. Um, there's different things you can do but you need some kind of an eye hook here or something that you can just hang this up like this and you just hang them up. And in time, the uh, carpenter bees will go in the hole. Like I said, they go down the center hole, they end up in the jar and they can't get out. So that's it for building a carpenter bee trap. It's just that easy. Like I said, you can do it with a, a handsaw and you do have to have a drill and a couple bits. But if you've got, you know, a drill and a couple bits and a handsaw, you could build this. But if you've got other saws, it's definitely easier. So that's it for building a carpenter bee trap. And uh, if you find this video useful please click like and uh, share it if you don't mind and subscribe to our channel we have a lot of videos along this line a lot of gardening a lot of uh, home repair kind of stuff and uh, so we would like to say thank you for visiting do it yourself with Wayne and we hope you have a great day